Welcome, to the Corp Vault channel. In this video we will discuss, Comvault software cache configuration, and how to copy software. Please, like, share, comment or suggest. Subscribe for more videos, and, you can follow us on Instagram. There are two ways to access, add or remove software options. The first way is, select tools menu. Click on add remove software. Here you see both, software cache configuration, and copy software. The other way is, right click on the conserve. All tasks. Add remove software. You see both the options available here as well. Select, software cache configuration. Software cache configuration window. Conserve software cache tab. If you have never configured the software cache for this Comserve, you might see this screen. But, if it's configured, then it will automatically switch to this window. The Comserve cache directory holds the Comvault software, needed to perform installations, and upgrades from the Comsel console. Cache details. Please specify cache directory. Shows the location of the Comserve cache directory. If you need to change or update the location, click Browse, and select the new location. Please note that the directory must be in a local drive of the Comserve computer. Available space for cache, displays the amount of free disk space available, in the drive where Comserve cache directory is hosted. Comserve cache status for media, indicates whether the Comserve cache directory is ready to receive software which includes Comvault packages, updates, and service packs. If the cache is not ready, invalid status is displayed. Let's browse to the cache directory and check its contents. Windows Explorer says the path does not exist. Indeed, the path does not exist. Let's create a new directory for software cache. Ensure you pick a drive, which has adequate space to accommodate the software, which is in GBs. Let's copy the path. Paste it in the configuration window. We need to update the new location, in the Comserve database. Click commit cache. This will update the Comserve database with the current configuration, and contents of the Comserve cache. Selected commit cache operation is successful. Once done click OK. Let's check, if the changes are updated. The new location is updated successfully. If you notice, the available space for cache is changed as well. Click cache details, to view the service packs, and additional updates available in the conserve cache directory. At the moment we have none, as this is new location. You can copy software and updates for various releases, as shown in the list. We have none for each version. Delete cache contents. Deletes the software that resides in the Comserve cache directory. On the confirmation window, click OK, to confirm delete software cache contents. Remote software cache tab. From here you can configure, remote cache directories on client computers. You can also view, and manage, the remote cache directories that are configured. How is this useful? When you have a group of clients, that reside in a remote location, you can configure a remote cache, to reduce the network traffic and download time. Click add, to configure a new remote cache location. Configure remote cache window. Computer. Lists the client computers where you can configure the remote cache directory. Enable remote software cache. If this option is checked, then the remote cache receives the Comvault software, from the Comserve cache. Please specify cache directory. Browse the location of the remote cache directory, either a local drive, or a network share. Configure packages to sync. Helps to configure the remote cache to synchronize only specific software packages. Configure packages to sync, window. Sync packages. If this option is checked, 
then it enables the remote cache to synchronize its contents with the conserve cache. If you clear this option, all the packages in the remote cache are deleted during the next synchronization job. All packages. If selected, then it will allow the remote cache to fully synchronize with the conserve cache contents. This means the remote cache will retrieve all the software that resides in the conserve cache. Customize packages. This option allows the remote cache to synchronize only specific software packages. By default, this option automatically synchronizes the updates required for all the associated clients and the packages required to upgrade associated clients from older Convault versions. You can also configure the remote cache to synchronize additional packages for specific operating systems. From the Select OS list, select the operating system. From this drop down list, select the packages. If needed, click plus sign to specify more packages for another operating system. View packages in cache shows the software packages that are available in the remote cache. Sync cache. Use this option to resynchronize the remote cache contents with the conserve cache. This option starts a new synchronization job. Add remove clients helps to associate client computer with the remote cache. Associate client or client group to remote software cache window. Select the client or client group from available clients or client group and move it to selected clients or client group using these options. The clients that you select will retrieve the software from the remote cache. Once done, click OK. Computer is the name of the client computer where you configured the remote cache directory. Enabled indicates whether the remote cache is enabled to receive software from the conserve cache. Cache directory shows the directory path of the remote cache on the client computer. Package status indicates whether the remote cache directory is ready to receive the software. Windows package timestamp shows the time and date when the remote cache was last updated with Convault software for Windows based computers. Unix package timestamp shows the time and date when the remote cache was last updated with Convault software for Unix, Linux, and Macintosh based computers. Associations shows the clients that are currently associated with the selected remote cache. Use edit to modify the selected remote cache. Use Delete to delete the selected remote cache. On the confirmation pop-up window, click OK. Excluded Machines tab. Please pay attention to the notes. Click Add. Add machine host name into exclusion list window. Machine host name. Enter the name of the client computer. The host name should include the fully qualified domain name. Mention the reason for adding the specified computer to the list of computers that will be excluded from automatic installation or upgrade operations. Use these options to manage the list. Once done, click OK. We are done with software cache configuration. Let's proceed with copy software. Right click on the conserve. All tasks. Add remove software. Select copy software. Copy Software Options Window General tab Copy Software from a Location Click Browse to locate the directory where the Convault software is located. Please note, UNC paths are supported. Impersonate User If the path specified is located in a network share, click Username slash Password. Specify a user account with sufficient permissions to access the share. Options tab Job type. Copy and sync. Performs the copy operation and synchronize the remote cache locations with the conserve cache. This option is selected by default. Select remote software caches to synchronize. Here you can select the remote cache locations that you want to synchronize with the conserve cache. Copy. Performs only the copy operation. The remote cache locations will not be synchronized with the conserve cache. Job Initiation tab. You can run the copy software job either immediately 
or schedule it for later. Click configure to set the day and time at which you want to run the job. Click advanced. Advanced options for copy software. Startup tab. Startup in suspended state. The job will be started and is seen in job controller in the suspended state. It has to be resumed manually to run. Start when com server activity is low. The job will be started and will be in waiting state and is automatically run when the com server is idle or activity is low. Job retry tab. Enable total running time. You can set the maximum time that the job is allowed post which it will be in pending or queued state. You can kill the job by enabling the option kill running job when total running time expires. Enable number of retries. If for some reason the job goes pending then you can set the number of retires, post which the job will be marked as failed. Alert tab. You can set an alert for the job, for successful completion, or failure if any. Once done, click OK. The copy software job is seen in the job controller. Double click to view the job details. Progress tab. Shows current phase of the job, job state, if running, pending, suspended, or failed. Elapse time, since the job start time. Percentage completion of the job. General tab. Shows job ID. Job start time. Who started the job. And how the job was started. Attempts tab. Shows if there were any interruptions in the job, and if it was restarted. To view the job logs, you can right click on the job, view, select, logs for job, or using the process manager. Select logging tab. Look for downloaded software log. Right click, and open log. You can view the live progress of the job using GX Tail Utility. Copy software might take a while, so please be patient. Copy software job completed successfully. Let's verify the cache contents. Click Cache Details. You see the software and updates are copied successfully. For this video, we have only copied Linux packages to cache, but, if you encounter issue with push install, and in the logs you see the error, fail to read Windows package details, and fail to read the package details, then Convault will automatically start the download software job online using internet. If there is internet connection to the ComServe machine, then they will be automatically downloaded, but, if there is no internet connection, then download the software manually, and copy the Windows packages to the cache, and that should solve the issue. We will end this video here. Do subscribe to the channel for more videos, if not already done so. Do subscribe for more videos.